But it is Severe Weather Awareness Week. Both the National Weather Service and the State Emergency Management Agency uses this time to prepare you for potential bad weather. Our Corey Smith has more on what you need to know. While South Carolina can see severe weather year round, March kicks off our more active period that can last well into the summer. National Weather Service meteorologist Nicole Roberic says this time of the year is typically our biggest concern. We can kind of get in this lull where we don't see much severe weather, but then once spring comes around, that's when we see the most activity when it comes to severe weather. Spring is a season of transition. Warm and cool air masses constantly move across the U.S. That causes areas of low pressure to move across the south. The strong winds associated with these systems and the warm air create the perfect environment for rotation, which leads to severe weather. We saw this on April 5th of last year, when one of the largest tornado outbreaks in recent years occurred in our state. More than 14 tornadoes touched down that day, including two EF3 tornadoes. On May 1st, we saw hail, another type of severe weather that fell in Lexington County from severe storms that moved through. Around the July 4th holiday, strong storms caused flooding in the Columbia area, including a record high crest on Rocky Branch. Out of all types of severe weather, flooding is the biggest concern, which is why Nicole says you should take any rising waters, especially on the roads, seriously. Well, one really good example is my family, they own a lot of trucks, and one thing that I tell them all the time is you just don't know how deep any flood water is. The most important way you can keep yourself safe from any potential threats is by being informed about future weather. From Columbia, I'm News 19 meteorologist Corey Smith. Corey, thanks. In case the power goes out, experts recommend having an emergency weather radio. You should also have an emergency plan in place, including where you should go in the event of approaching severe weather. Also make an emergency preparedness kit with your family, including first aid, batteries, and any important documents that you may need. All this information can be found on our website, WLTX.com. You can also download the WLTX weather app for the latest up-to-date forecast and to get warnings sent straight to your phone.